Hi everyone, it's Monique and I'm back with another project for Wild Orchid Crafts on behalf of their YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. So for the month of September, the design team challenge was to create something with the theme of going back to school. It was to be something practical yet pretty. So what I've decided to do is create this agenda. The papers I've used throughout the agenda are by Glitz Designs. Uh, they're the Love Games collection. I've kept the cover fairly simple. Um, I've used, I actually just printed the word agenda on my computer and then I used a couple of my Spellbinders dies uh, to create this label on the front with a couple of brads from my stash. Here I have just some bling from my stash and this little crocheted butterfly was something that I created myself. In the bottom corner here, however, we have a variety of Wild Orchid Crafts products. I started by taking a section of the black Guy Pure Lace here. This one here. And then I layered some flowers on top. To the top left of the main flower here, I've got one of the white gypsophilia flowers on a stem. And I've also got three of the ivory calla lilies. In the bottom right here, I've used one of the lily flowers from this mixed earth tome pack here with a couple more of the calla lilies beside it. Now the main flower you'll recognize from my metal flowers tutorial and what I've used there is I've got a couple of the dark brown skeleton leaves. I've also got a portion of one of the black crystal drops on a stem. And I've got two of the antique gold square embellishments which I have bent using my pliers. This little black flower here is from the Black Organza Rose Trim in a small size and then I just have a rhinestone brad from my stash. I've used my Zutter Bind It All to bind the, the agenda as well as a Zutter Closure here which I dyed using the Tim Holtz Black Soot Stain. So if you open it up, what I've done is I've I've included only 10 months starting with September through to June because that would be the end of the school year. And I'll just give a quick flip through. So although the paper line was called Love Games, I thought there was a lot of really cool designs that were school related like the backgammon with the with the um, script on the back. It's, the back of this is quite plain. For each month I actually printed a calendar as well as I have one page per day and I printed this all out um, on my computer. And I actually got templates for this paper and for the calendars. It's from incompetech.com so what I'll do is I'll put the link to that in the description of this video. So I took a little bit of work because I actually just got this part from Incompetech and then I added the date on each page. And then at the back of every month what I've done is I've included a few line sheets. So I'll just quickly flip through so you can see the papers that I've chosen. For the, all the tabs, what I did was I actually used um, my Stampin' Up! Tab Punch with acrylic and I've got these little letters I believe are from Graphic 45. I could be wrong on that though. And then you'll see on the back of each of them I've stamped with a small stamp set the month so you can read it from the front or the back. Sorry, there's the back of this. There's December's. January. I really like
with this paper. February. March. Here's April. May. And June. And then I just stamped and signed and dated the album there. Um, the back of the agenda, sorry, the back of the agenda I just left plain with this design paper. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this project. If you're interested in knowing any of the codes for all of the products that I used, they will be, of course, listed in the description box as usual. If you go over to the Wild Orchid Crafts YouTube channel, you will see all sorts of neat projects that the other design team members are creating. There's a new project up there every day or every second day, so go check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great night. Bye-bye.